Oh hey guys, Simon here, and we're playing Siberia 2. There's no 2, look at the Siberia 2. Well, this is the second part of the game. I think there's only two parts to the game. So the last um, bit ended kind of abruptly. Like, we found Hans Vorlberg and then we went off with him. Like, he disappeared <laughs> out of nowhere. Uh, it's kind of weird, to be honest. I think they... I don't know, it seems like they ran out of time or something, and they just kind of ended the game there, and then, alright, we just finish it off in, in number two. Anyway, Siberia 2, let's go! We don't need to do the recap, I don't think. You can go watch the videos again, if you want to. Okay, that's kind of loud. Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island, an island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The isle is covered in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans, you must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. She's not replying to her messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again! Hello, Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I... Give me that. Kate? Come on now, Pat, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know, the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! I promise, Hans Varlberg. We're going to Siberia. Wow, that was really, really loud. I don't know... What is it with games and their full volume cutscenes? Anyway, I have to manually reduce the volume on that one. Well, there we go. We're going to Siberia. Yay! Ignoring the job and, and dumping the boyfriend and everything. Alright, so there's the train car back there. Do we have stuff back here? So we're taking Hans. Back to the mammoths. I see. Wait a minute. There's more stuff. Oh, this is Hans' stuff, isn't it? All these gears and things. We don't have the hmm, voice things anymore. Can we play with this? Hans's cylinder machine. Something else he slapped together since we came on board. Cylinder machine. Hans's cylinder machine. Something else he slapped together since we came on board. Wait a minute. Did the, the, the last game have voice acting? I don't remember. Yes, it did. Did it? I don't remember. Why did that sound so strange? Hold on. Um, alright, there's an arm there. Hold on, where's... Whoa, arms. Don't tell me this is Oscar. Did you kill Oscar, Hans? Hi. Hello there, Kate Walker. You know what? I'm so happy to be here. To follow you in pursuit of your dreams. My dreams are now your dreams, Kate Walker. Um... That, that, that's, that's a bit strange. I guess I guess it's right, but that's just a bit, bit strange. My dreams are now your dreams? That's kind of weird. When are we leaving again? I want to leave as quickly as possible, but it's Oscar who decides. He's the master of the train. You made Oscar. What well, you designed Oscar? So why don't you? I don't know. Reprogram him. Wait, is that a stain on the carpet? Did this guy just spill things onto this carpet, bro? This train was, and it's an anvil. How did you? 
Yo, wait a minute, there's a single bed. Where's my bed? Wow, this guy. He just took over my room and spilled stuff on the carpet. I don't mean to get personal, but don't you think that this journey is going to be a bit tough for a man your age? I am going to Siberia, Kate Walker. End of discussion. You do understand. Sure. Hans, where are we? Somewhere on the way to Siberia. Is it still far? Pretty much. Nobody's ever seen this island. No explorers ever talked about it. And well, it's not on any map, Hans. I know Siberia exists, Kate Walker. Okay, so where were you? Like, where was Hans all this time? He just appeared into the game, and, and we, we're riding a train. How are we going to get to a place that nobody's ever seen before if we're on a train that is stuck to the tracks? Do you see what I mean? I mean, unless we get off the train. Otherwise, the train tracks only go to where people have been before. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Do you think that the train can go much further? There's more and more snow, and the cold is biting. I designed and built it, Kate. You did remember to wind it. No, not yet. Then get it wound and let's be off. Can you like make a portable winding mechanism? That would that would be good. That would help a lot. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Alright, so he's actually not gonna be any help at all. I'm gonna have to solve all these problems by myself, aren't I? Seriously, he's, he just took over my room. Where's the other bed? That guy, man. It's like he... he f oh no, who is this? Is it the boyfriend? Dump him. Hello? Kate Walker? Oh. This is Oscar calling. Your How does he have a phone? Oscar, you're using a telephone? Mr. Boroberg has in effect jerry-rigged me something very approximative, inspired by your own miniature device. Mr. Boroberg is such a repository of knowledge. I am calling to inform you that we have arrived at the station, Kate Walker. Great. Which station's that? The station is located in the town of Romansburg, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm gonna go snoop around. Do be careful, Kate Walker. Always am, Oscar. Okay. So now Oscar has a clockwork mobile phone. Interesting. Wait, can I go into... Okay, this better be my room. No, this is the bathroom. Uh, so Hans really just took over my room. Oh, there's a shower here, it's cool. It's a little chilly to be taking a shower. Thanks all the same. No, but... But, but I'm just clicking on things. I don't, I don't know. Can, can Hans, like, sleep in the toilet so I can sleep in the bed? That's really rude. Alright, let's get out. Apparently it's really cold. Can Hans make me like a clockwork fur jacket or something? A fur coat? Cause it's snowing right now. Uh, 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 guy with a peg leg. Are you kidding me? He's got music. Welcome to Romansburg, the last town before the vast wild glacial wastes of the tundra. Retired Colonel Emilioff Lupache, guardian of the Imperial marches and general store manager at your service, miss. How may I? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the frontier town of Romansburg, gateway to the tundra, the last town before the vast plains of the frozen wastes. Cool. So he's got like his own music introducing him. That's amazing. All right, so we can walk around. No, no, this is walk around. Hold on, is it a quick save? Actually, I didn't check that, did I? Menu options. Um, I, I okay. Let's just manually save. Uh, where should we go? So we're there. We can go in there. We can go this way. Oh no. I feel like. Just gonna make the second game even bigger than the first game, which means more walking around. Well, let's see if they improve things. 
Oh, hey, Oscar. Strange town. What do you make of it, Oscar? Trains should never have to stop. I simply don't like stations, Kate Walker. Nor the towns around them. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of a generalization. The whole town is lugubrious. And I don't like these houses underneath the rails. To me, they spell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. We have to be very careful. Uh-huh, still the same old scaredy cat. I cannot change my design, Kate Walker. What does lugubrious mean? Should I look it up in, in Wikipedia or something? Anyway, let's just talk. Sometimes I say to myself I should just go back to New York. No. Do you miss it, Kate Walker? No. No. I don't think you will ever return home, Kate Walker. <laughs> it is too late now. Oscar, how come you're programmed for psychology all of a sudden? Wow. Hans isn't looking so great, don't you think? While his passion is strong, his wheel work is worn, Kate Walker. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Do you think that we're any nearer to our goal, Oscar? No, we just started. It is getting colder, that much is certain. Personally, I have no particular goal, Kate Walker. But the train and myself have not been designed to function forever. I would be grateful if you could talk about this matter with Mr. Forelberg, and him alone, if you please. Huh. Do you guys see that thing in the background? I'm pointing at it right now. Do you guys see that? That's not a mountain. That's a thing on a mountain. I think we're gonna go there at some point. That's amazing. Look at that thing. It'd be cool if we do. It's like foreshadowing the next part of the game. That's amazing. It's pretty clever. Oscar, is your train in a fit state to carry on with the journey? What are you suggesting, Kate Walker? I take the greatest care of it. Yes, I know, Oscar. But I was just thinking that with this rude climate... It is designed to resist just such conditions, Kate Walker. You simply have to wind it up. And you weren't thinking by any chance of taking charge of that yourself? My wheelwork is complex and fragile. It is poorly adjusted for the rigors of winter, Kate Walker. Now there's a surprise. Huh, alright. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. So I'm guessing we're not gonna just wind it up and leave. Right, let's just do that, wind it up. Well, we're we getting this far. Pull that. Who built these winding mechanisms on these stations, anyway? It must have been Hans. No one else knows how to build them. I'm guessing we can't just leave. Actually, what if I talk to Oscar? Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. Um, train. That's it, Oscar. I've wound the train up. Now we can leave. That's impossible, Kate Walker. Why, Oscar? Soon we shall be confronting extremely cold temperatures, Kate Walker. We shall need coal to keep ourselves warm. <sighs> this time you're not wrong, Oscar. It is a bit nippy. As soon as you have filled the coal car, we can set out again, Kate Walker. I'll see what I can do. This thing has a coal See car. See you, Kate Walker. It doesn't burn the coal for fuel. It burns the coal for warmth. For the robot. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. I think the design of the train has changed a little bit too. Can I talk to it? My name's Kate Walker. Hi! My name is Malka. I'm Kate Walker. And you? You are Malka who? Malka. Just Malka. I'm going. I'll go see what I can do. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Okay. She likes me already. That's good. Uh, what, what is this? Oh no, we're gonna have to solve a puzzle, don't we? Let's, again... No buttons, no, no, no labels on these buttons. It's just not gonna work, is it? Nope. Well... 
that's okay. Something's not right with this machine. Yeah, yes, Kate. Something's not right with that machine. In fact, a lot of things are not right with that machine. Well, let's go talk to people. Um, the shop was here, and what's his name? General something. Everyone's got these complex names. No one's got like a simple name like Steve or Bob or John. Can't remember any of their names. There's a ladder there too. Is that candy? Oh, candy machines. It is candy. Oh, candy machines. Yeah, no, put in a coin. Put in a. You don't have a coin. Oh, candy machines. Um. Candy I'll be back. I'll be back after I mug someone. Um, hmm. So I can walk that way. We can't do anything else. It seems like things are, are more tightly packed in this game. You see how there's no real blank screens? Like every screen has something to do with it. You see how that that is? I think they improved it since the first game. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll double check. We'll, we'll keep that in mind as we uh, play the game. Nothing to click on here. I'm thinking adventure games should have like a a thing where you highlight things that you can click on. I don't know... Do you guys know any games that has it? I think one of the... Um, I can't even remember the name of the game. It's just not very memorable. Um... The one with the French woman. What's the name of that game? Anyway, I'm just thinking maybe like a button to highlight anything you can click on. So instead of you know you know just kind of pulling the mouse around the screen to try to figure out what you can click on, just just click one button and then it highlights things for you. I think that would actually improve the game experience because I mean, the the fun of adventure games is not looking for the pixel to click on. It's more you know talking to people or looking at in the scenery and then solving puzzles and I mean that's, that's the fun part like searching for pixels to click on is not really the fun part is it so maybe that's something we should have in all adventure games 